Scripps News congressional correspondent Nathaniel Reed is following this story up close from Capitol Hill. Nate, uh, this deposition is happening behind closed doors. Do we have any sense of what James Biden is telling the committee? We actually do. We have obtained Scripps News in the last uh, couple minutes or so has obtained part of the opening statement from James Biden that he made to the committee earlier today. And I want to read an excerpt, a couple excerpts from this now. He said he's telling the committee or just told the committee, quote, I've had a 50 year career in a variety of business ventures. Joe Biden has never had any involvement or any direct or indirect financial interest in those activities. None. He ended his statement saying, quote, with my appearance here today, the committee will have the information to conclude that the negative and destructive assumptions about me and my relationship with my brother Joe are wrong. There is no basis for this inquiry, of course, the impeachment inquiry to continue. That is what he told the committee a short time ago. That questioning is ongoing. It's expected to continue to last for quite a while. Uh, they are behind closed doors meeting in one of the remote buildings here on the Capitol complex. And this is one of the many depositions that House Republicans have uh, launched trying to determine whether there was any wrongdoing that Joe Biden engaged with his brother, uh, James Biden. At this point, of course, James Biden telling them no. Uh, the House Republicans who are conducting this investigation uh, looking into some payments, they say loan repayments that were made by uh, Joe Biden's brother to the uh, president of the United States back um, several years ago. They say that those point to evidence of wrongdoing. We just learned, though, that Jim Biden has made very clear he does not believe there was any wrongdoing and has made clear that he does not feel that this uh, inquiry should continue as is. Now, a major piece of the Biden impeachment inquiry, it appeared to unravel. There was this former FBI informant, Alexander Smirnov. He uh, said to have gotten wrong information is what he says about Biden's business links to foreign governments, not just the president's links, but the president's son Hunter's links. Does this weaken House Republicans attempt to impeach the president then? Not just that he got wrong information, the government's now charged him with lying to the FBI, saying that he made many of these things up. And just yesterday, in a new legal filing, we learned the following. I want to read that for you here. He said, uh, quote, during his custodial interview on February 14th, Smirnov admitted that officials associated with Russian intelligence were involved in passing a story about Business Person One. Based on that filing, we know Business Person One appears to be Hunter Biden, the president's eldest living son. That was another major piece of House Republicans' impeachment investigation. And at this point, despite that evidence, that a large part of that uh, evidence that they claimed of impeachable offenses was fabricated, uh, Jim Jordan, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, told reporters this morning he believes the probe can continue. Well, I mean, it is what it is, so uh, doesn't change the fundamental facts. Those allegations from the FD 2023 are now found to all be lies. So how does that impact the investigation? I think you should ask the, you should ask the FBI why they were so reluctant. They told us if, if we don't, uh, when we wanted to see the 1023, they said this could jeopardize national security, the safety of this confidential human source. You can't know his name. They didn't want to show it to us. And at the same time, House Democrats who were playing a part in these depositions, they're also having the ability to ask questions and have questions answered from some of these witnesses say that because of this uh, confidential source who later admitted to lying and, of course, has now been charged by the government for uh, making false statements to the FBI, they believe that this impeachment inquiry is entirely without merit, though that's something they've been saying now for many months. Here's Jamie Raskin, the ranking member of the House Oversight Committee. The impeachment investigation um, essentially ended yesterday in substance, if not in form. We know that um, they were likely concocted along with Russian intelligence operatives. So to me, the whole thing smells like Vladimir Putin is all over it. And despite this testimony earlier today from James Biden, the president's brother, saying that they had no financial links uh, regarding their business or uh, whatsoever, as well as that confidential 1023, that FBI form that turned out to have been uh, uh, fraudulent, uh, it appears this impeachment uh, inquiry will continue into President Biden. That being said, Democrats uh, associated with this have not uh, have made very clear they don't believe that this is with merit, that this is a political stunt on the part of House Republicans. At this point, House Republicans have not presented any specific concrete evidence to show that President Biden committed uh, impeachable offenses that would rise to that level of high crimes or misdemeanors while in office as vice president 
or as president or during his time out of office. All right. Nate Reed reporting for us live from Capitol Hill. Thank you very much.